Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Now, last time we were playing, we had just uh, brought back the rest of the wood from on top of the mountain there. Brought down to the mill, sold it, got a cool however much we got out of that. And uh, we decided we're going to keep rocking on this project today. Um, so I want to finish up this road. So we'll hop in our uh, processor here and get back to chopping. I want to try to finish this road um, off completely and then maybe even jump into the next section just to get our landing cleared out so we can start working on the other side that we want to want to play in there. Oops. Bouncy trees. Yeah, it should be good. I, I, I mean, this swamp will be our last area for, uh, for abusing here, so it should be pretty fun to see what we can get out of it. There's a lot of wood in here, so it might take a little while uh, to cut it all out. Or to cut at least a good portion of it out, for sure. Uh, let's walk up here a little. I was just laughing to my uh, my wife the other day, talking about how I haven't gotten a cold in what feels like a few years almost. Like, it's been a long time since I've caught a cold. And now, this past week, I've uh, my throat's been all like, Bleh. But it doesn't feel like a cold. I think it's just because uh, we're kind of changing seasons here into winter. So it always seems to dry up a little bit and get kind of nasty. But I'm like, oh man, why does my voice feel so, so raspy? Darn climate change, I'll tell you. Actually, climate change is not what I meant. Season change, let's go with that. Let's not get on the subject of climate change. <laughs> that does not need to be a topic of the day, because I just, that's a little too controversial for me. Um, speaking of topic of the day, though... Um, what do we got on our list next? Man, I feel so funny that we're going off a list. It's like, oh. But you guys are starting to give me some good ideas in the comments, and it's uh, it's pretty funny, um, the stuff that comes up. Some of the ideas are great. Some I'm like, I'm not talking about that subject. <laughs> uh, so one that I grabbed from a comments was uh, horror movies versus comedy movies. What's your take, and what's my take? Well... I enjoy a good comedy. I also enjoy a good horror movie. It's really mood dependent, you know? It's hard to really say one versus the other, but um, I'd say I watch more comedy than I do horror movies, but I have a strong love for horror movies ever since I was a kid. Um, I started watching horror movies as a very young, young child when I probably shouldn't have. My parents were pretty open to the idea of me watching the movies. I probably shouldn't have been, but it was good that I was exposed to that stuff because um, it made me less scared of it when I got older. I still have friends that can't watch horror movies to this, to this day because they're too freaky. So, but I'm I'm kind of I don't know what kind of like horror movie wise. I like I like thriller, twisted kind of thriller movies where you know some kind of either person or creature or something is in charge. I hate ghost movies. Oh god, not a fan of ghost movies. I don't like. Haunted house movies, they're just boring to me. Um, but I like a good one that makes you think. Like, uh, what's a good horror movie? You guys probably saw that movie Get Out. Um, obviously, most people know what that one is. That movie, I thought, was absolutely fantastically done. I thought that was a good one. Oh, what's going on here? Why can't I grab this guy? I'll just get it there, I guess. We'll leave a stump in the road. Um, but yeah, Get Out was amazing. Great psychological horror you know, made you think about stuff. And it's funny, if you watch that movie a first time and then watch it a second time, once you know what's going on, it's, I had to watch it again. It was so fun. Because I was like, oh my god, it all makes so much sense now. But, um, yeah. So Get Out was a good one. I like that. That kind of movie, though. Those kind of horror movies. And then, you know, there's the old classic style. Oh, I can get this one more cut here. The old classic, you know, Freddy Krueger type movies. That kind of stuff's always fun, just for memories, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, and I also enjoy good comedy. I like comedy movies. I think comedy movies have really gone downhill. Maybe this is just me getting old. I don't know. But um, comedy movies have just changed a lot. Like, I, I like the days where they had movies like... Um, God, I'm trying to think of what the hell is that series called? Uh, okay, well, the Waynes Brothers, when they first started, was actually really good comedy. Like, I like uh, spoof movies where they make fun of, like, real movies. Um, like, the Scary Movie series, I loved those. They were so fun. Um, 
airplane airplane the original airplane like from way back in the day you know like don't call me Shirley um, love that stuff I know it's I know it's like older but the, the humor even even now like is good you can go back and watch those movies and have a good laugh because it's it's smart humor they're spoof movies with stupid stuff in them but the humor is well written the lines are well written that kind of stuff it feels like now a lot of the the comedy movies are either romance based like where it has to be a love story involved or um, it seems like the if they do make a spoof movie it's just like fart humor and you know like explosions and just it feels like the writing is really weak on a lot of stuff but I don't know we'll see as we'll see as things progress I know the movie industry is changing lots and lots every day so lots of new players coming in and lots of new content getting made so hopefully there's some good stuff coming I mean even look back to like the original like Dumb and Dumber movie like the very first one it's so funny that stuff like the, the writing's just like gold it's you know, you don't see much of that anymore. But I mean, we have a few variants that made it through pretty well. I mean, uh, what's another? What's a good one? I'm just trying to think of good series that kind of came out or movies that came out recently. Um, I like to say like the Super Bad kind of era, Super Troopers, that kind of stuff was kind of the next, the next level of comedy when it first came out. I mean, that's old stuff now compared to what's out <clears throat> now, but. Uh, yeah, there's just nothing, like, really super memorable. I mean, maybe I just have been out of movies in the new stuff more, but I keep trying to think of anything really good. Jeez, I went back even as far as, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, John Cleese from Faulty Towers. I don't know what it is about that series. It's just that dry British humor that is just so fun. So good. Oh, can we cut this one? Probably got it the wrong way. Do I have it this way? That doesn't feel right. Oh, it is right. Okay. Let's see if I can get a chunk out of this. Oh, there we go. See? That's better. That's technically not... Well, it's almost a four-meter log. Hey, Wow, that's random. I can't believe we cut almost a perfect four. <laughs> that's so... That's so random. <laughs> is this a stump? Oh, it is a stump. Well, that cut really high, too. There we go. Get that out of there. But yeah, comedy versus horror. Oh man, so hard. Did you get actually on Netflix right now? They have a show called Four Hundred Days. It's called. It's a horror movie. Um, but you know, oddly enough, Dane Cook, you know, like comedian Dane Cook, is one of the main actors. It's not. It's not a comedy, but it's a a very interesting horror movie. I actually really like it. It's very psychological. A little bit of crazy in there. Um, what's good? American Horror Story. There you go. There is a new, new-ish. Uh, one that still has episodes dating back. Uh, American Horror Story was a good one. I really like the, uh, the writing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's kind of hit and miss on some of the seasons, but, uh, I don't know. It's got, it holds a special place for me. Like, I think it's really cool. Yeah. American Horror Story. Which is also funny because, uh, American Horror Story series is what I watched while I modded for the beginning of 20, uh, FS19. So when I first started getting into Farming Simulator 2019, I would basically just sit and watch uh, like shows while I modded because I was like, man, I got bored of music and I just wanted you know, something to relate to. So I would sit there and I'd watch movie series while I would make maps and stuff, and it was pretty cool. Just kind of, you know, background noise. It was good to kind of... Take your mind off. Then when you wanted to take a little break from uh, modding, you could just sit and watch the rest of the episode. But man, it was fun. So I watched pretty much all the American Horror Story uh, series while modding. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I mean, some of it was got a little wacky. Some of the some of the stuff was better than other stuff. But, um, you know, you find your characters that you like and you, you make it work. So, ah, whatever we kind of can't really correct that one. So we'll just pile it there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to switch back to 15s now because we're kind of in our we're kind of in our zone where we want to start logging here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step over to our pile here. Let's get this out of the way. This will be number one. Numeral El Nuno. Uh, except I think the pile goes the other way, doesn't it? Yeah, it 
does. So we need to... Oops. Need to not hit that with it. Maybe there's a cool picture here somewhere. Let's see. Well, that could be alright. We'll see. Maybe we'll grab another one after. And then we'll put the top over here, I guess. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're going to have to sort all of this anyway because... Because, because, because we've already been here and kind of done this. Alright, let's check this one over here. Like I said, we're uh, we're grabbing it kind of randomly off the other side of the landing, so it's gonna be a bit tricky that way. Let's cut this guy here. Oops. I'm actually just gonna build a little hole over here. That's what I'm gonna do. And we'll catch up to this stuff when we get here. We will get you. Let's get this out of here, too. Hey, okay, cut it. Cut, dang you. Huh. It don't want to cut. There we go. I guess there's a height restriction on that piece. Probably because we screwed the land up. We're probably way deeper into the tree than it should be. Let's chuck that over there, too. Alright, so now what I want to do is start grabbing trees and clean up our little area here. Oops. Oh, jeez. Careful with that. There we go. There we go. You just got to manipulate them. That's the trick. So, yeah. Depends on what you guys like, but, uh, you know, are you a horror movie kind of person? Are you a comedy movie person? Do you like both? And if you do, what kind of shows do you like? What's And if, do you have any recommendations? I always look for recommendations. What's a good, uh, what's a good new horror movie? What's a good new um, comedy movie? Something that relates just not stupid but again you know comedy and horror are both relative you know it's how you feel about what you like right i've watched a lot of horror movies that i thought were awesome and other people were like that was stupid but um that's all personal preference but like i said the older you get the more your genre movie style tastes or <laughs> your genre movie style taste changes what i was trying to say all in good time. But cinema is always constantly changing. You're always seeing new uh, new stuff coming out and new styles of films and new upcoming crazy directors. Whatever happened to speaking of movies, like we're kind of we're off the topic of the day thing, but we're still on movies. So um. Whatever happened to the Avatar 2 thing? I actually really liked the first Avatar. It was fun, but... Remember they said they were going to make a second one, and I never really looked into it after that, but... MIA, man. I haven't heard anything about that. No Avatars for you. Avatar was a funny movie. You and my buddy to this day still make fun of the... We yell Matt when the military guy kicks the door and he yells masks on. To this day, we still yell masks on. It's really funny. I'm like, man, how old was I when that came out? We must have been kids then. Or like when 300 came out, the first, you know, Spartan God movie. <laughs> I remember we were so pumped after watching that. We were like way too pumped as kids. We were like jumping off street lamps and stuff. We were just like, woo, Sparta. Classic kids, eh? What do you do? You gotta have your fun. You know what, though? I always look back and I think, man, those moments were, like, the best moments. Do you know how hard it is to find things that pump you up like that these days that aren't drugs? <laughs> There's not a lot of events that make you, like, that excited, right? So, it's pretty, pretty wild. There we go. 
Okay, let's get that one over there. Whoops. Kind of pulled back on that a little bit. At least we're getting this site cleaned up. This looks good. Uh, oh, I wanted to take out this tree because I just, I just know this tree is going to be annoying. You can just tell it's going to be annoying. I'm going to grab these two. And I'm actually just going to put these over here. Screw it. Lamb in the cave that we created. Oops. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Oh, God. Did it launch the tree? Oh, it did. I should have just turned the head off. I was like, oh, it'll stop. And I'm like, oh, wait. They're set to 15. These trees aren't 15. Oh, well. Yes, I know I don't have access to the land. You're just going to have to deal with that. And skip. And we'll throw this guy up here. Yeah, okay. We got pretty much our landing cleared out here. We don't need much more room than that. So before we go, let's bring this processor back over there because we're going to need this guy to get all our stuff done. So let's go put this guy kind of back in where it was. And then, yeah, I'm kind of deciding what the plan is to uh, load it up here and get it out. But we got a lot of wood down here on this road, so that'll keep us occupied for a little bit while we bring that back and forth. Do some cleanup. And then we can begin the quest. I should probably get, like, a forestry grinder or something and tear up that uh, ground over there. Get rid of those stumps. Or we'll just leave them. We'll see. No harm in leaving them. It's not going to hurt anything. Still have some time left in my day today, so we're going to be looking at doing some exciting new mods. Of which I'm not going to tell you about because they're top secret. And I also don't know if they're going to work, so I don't want to get, get you guys all excited for something that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to do this. This is going to be so sweet. You guys are going to like it. And then I'm just like, oh man, I shouldn't have said anything because this didn't work out at all and I'm not releasing it. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of made a little oath to myself not to uh, not to reveal too much. Unless a project is, like, well underway and I know it's done. Or I'm just like, you know, like, oh, a new truck is coming or a new whatever. Then then I can kind of frame it a bit better and know it'll be fine. Oh, we're in the ditch now. Get out of the ditch, man. Right on. Let's get this nice load hanging out here waiting for us. We'll go do our loop with that. Drop it off and back through the swamp. Oh, man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good little turnaround area. And then I think we'll just load uh, those longs onto the long log truck. And just kind of make a little operation out of it. I think it'll be fun. Might be fun. Well, I hope it's fun anyway. So let's... Uh, I'm actually going to cut through the swamp. Let's go do some deep water tests here. See how low can you go. I was just thinking oh, remarkably low. Remarkably low. Where are we in conjunction to the area? Oh, we're catching up here. We're almost there. So I can see where our last pile that we just processed out. And then I guess, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, kind of keep back cutting here uh, as far as we can. I might, I still might actually bring that, uh, bring another buncher down here for fun. And then just follow the buncher with the processor. We're gonna, we might just go hard tiger cat here. Just hardcore tiger cat. Oops, is that going to clear it? Wow, that's amazing. I thought the top would get stuck in there. So then I can just run around, make nice big bunching piles, and then processing will be faster. I think it's faster, backing up back and forth. I don't know. Maybe it's slower. It's, it's actually pretty hard to tell. Time-wise, which one's the uh, the better option? So, yeah, we'll just kind of backtrack through the swamp here, make a nice little plowy area, and then, yeah, follow around, pick up the pieces. It's a lot of wood we got laying around out here, and there's going to be a lot more. Before I start actually packing the wood, though, I want to do a few episodes where we literally just burn down this forest, cut it all to crap, 
and then process it. And then we'll uh, we'll finish with uh, hauling it out and loading it. That'll be more fun. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. So, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. But if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.